Today was a long but good day. I woke up at 5.30 in the morning to get ready to go visit Lehigh for Candidate Stay, which is basically just an accepted student stay. And of course they had their whole introduction speeches and stuff where a bunch of um, people like the president and important people talked. There was one part of that whole introduction session where four professors from the College of Arts and Sciences came to talk a little about their programs. Um, there was a journalism professor, environmental science, philosophy, and theater. The philosophy guy, he walked on stage and I could tell this guy is going to be my new favorite person. Just from what he was wearing, you could tell he was going to be an interesting person. He had on a peach-colored button-down, a bright, luminescent, aqua green tie, and a gray tweed blazer. The thing about the blazer, though, was that he only had one of his arms through the sleeves. The other arm was in a cast, so he just kind of had the other sleeve hanging lopsided down his other side, and he had to keep shifting the blazer as he spoke. Um, but he was really cool. I wanted to quote him on pretty much his entire speech. I think he teaches existentialism in the field of philosophy, and one thing he did say in the speech was, pointlessness is wonderful. We got to talk to him later on that day, and he's just so interesting, and one of those brilliant minds that you could just sit and listen to all day. I never even once thought of taking a class in philosophy, but I have heard from several teachers that you should choose at least some of your classes based on the professor, so I am definitely taking his course at some point in the next four years. I'm super excited. The whole day was pretty good. Um, there was just the average run-of-the-mill introduction programs um, where you ask students questions and look at the different majors. Got to eat at a really great Mexican restaurant. That was good. I drove all the way home. That was pretty exhausting. I felt like I was going to fall asleep, but I didn't want to admit it, so I just made myself drive anyway. The thing about that road is there are not a lot of traffic lights, and when you do hit one of the few traffic lights that are, are it very seldom is red, and when it is red, it doesn't stay red for very long. I'm the only person, probably, who has ever complained about this, but I really needed a break, so I was just wishing and hoping for a traffic light to appear that I could just take a break and rest for like 30 seconds, but no, of course not. Also one thing that I thought was really funny was um, when we were in the bookstore getting this hoodie, um, it was like completely packed. There was pretty much the entire like class of 2017 in that bookstore. Not really, but pretty much. So obviously there was a super long line and I would have had to wait at least 20 minutes just to get to the cash register. But my dad decided to walk around a little bit and look around for somewhere else that he might be able to purchase this. I didn't think it was feasible at all, but he came back and quietly gestured for me to come over. And I was completely astounded, shocked by his skill in finding this, this hidden place. Um, but I walked across the store. And I saw that we were walking towards the Starbucks inside the bookstore. We were able to buy this from that register, and I thought that was really funny, because there was no line there at all. My dad can sometimes be a pretty smart guy, I guess. Don't tell him I said that.